Well, I'm out of local recording space. Well, that's something. Oh, do I even? Hold on. Let me check to see if this is the right microphone. I have a sneaking. Oh, no, it is. Okay. Yeah, that's the right microphone. We're all good to go. We're good to go, guys. I'm sorry I'm really late. I tried to make it for 730. And it didn't didn't necessarily work. So like almost it's almost 8 p.m. So I gifted you guys some memberships here. Um, it doesn't show me who has the memberships on this screen. I think actually I should be able to pull it up on this one. Uh, if we do this, and then if I switch this, like, whoa, whoa, we were, um, share this tab instead. Yeah. So Megan, Megan, my love got one, uh, res, resurre, resurre, resurre. Yeah. I think that's resurre. Uh, Kelly G, uh, Captain Ahab and mainly, mainly main. I think that's mainly main. You guys got some membership. Sorry. I'm late. Sorry, I'm extremely late, but that'll make up for it. Um, hopefully. Now, <laughs> just so what the plan, what the plan stand today is, is we're going to just go back into King Cobra because I think uh, I want to get through the eviction stuff, and by this time next week, there's some, there's probably gonna be something completely different happening, and I want to finish up like the two documentaries we were watching yesterday. So like that first documentary, and then the rest of the interview from the second one. Um, and yeah, that, that's the that's the plan for today. And then we should be good. And then tomorrow is Thursday. We'll do Daisy tomorrow and then Heather Friday. And then I usually take Saturday off. But I do members only streams on Saturdays now nowadays. So that'll be a thing. Uh, so let's get back. This is where we like left off in the um, the first documentary. I tapped out here and switched to the interview because he was he was talking about um I guess just like fucking at the the job corp, which I think is um a place where you get a job or you get the skills to get a job. If you don't have the skills to get a job, I don't know. Uh, Ryan, how you doing today? We're sp I'm spoiling it. I'm late. I don't know if I'm spoiling it. Hey, TD, how you doing today? It's like a reverse makeover. Um, I'm dead. Smelly cat, how you doing? Um, so yeah, I will just jump right back into it uh viewer discretion is advised i know king cobra was so raunchy but uh he might be talking about some things that might make it feel a bit uncomfortable because it's a crazy man um and that is my disclaimer and let me just yeah that's good so fucking amazing like uh you ever heard of a tit job right it's basically where a chick Matt jacks your dick off with her tits oh, oh, oh man oh yeah i've had that happen a couple times fucking amazing dude come on with those d's of hers oh yeah the first see? time she sucked my dick i should you know see i war i warned you guys i hope my space pro works today i hope it works today she swallowed it i was like damn and i'm like you know because apparently whatever you eat or ingest that's what your cum tastes like she said it tasted like cigarettes and whatever else we haven't gotten that far yet but um uh cigarettes and beets this is to give Dwight from the office uh, also smoked cigarettes, I guess. I think he said beats before. I'm not going to put that back. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Um, wouldn't mind taking a trip down to, to Spencer's and getting some bondage shit and experimenting with that. Yeah. Ball gags, whips, hot candles, red candles, leather suits, spikes. I already got spikes, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> A tip for me to you, if you're going to have sex with someone, man, you, if she says, do me like this, do it like that. Don't be like, uh, you know, pay attention and learn that shit. Because if you get her off more, more than one occasion, dude, it's not going to be like, you want to have sex? I don't feel like it. You know, she doesn't feel like faking an orgasm to make you feel studly. No. She's going to be like, oh, yes. If it was like last time, fuck yes. I, uh, this is some crazy shit. I think he's pretty drunk at this point in the night, too. So I, he's... Seems pretty confident. Yeah, nah, check trapped out with three P's. Um, I gotta I gotta link to all these guys in the description below because like they I mean he had to go to Casper, Wyoming to film this, and that's a that's a task in itself. A little less in woman anatomy, the vagina. It's not as complicated as people making it out to be. You got the clitoris, which is that bean shaping shape thing on the outside, and then you got her G spot, which is legendary in its mystery, but really it's not that hard to find if you <laughs> It's a mis it's what it's a legendary mystery? Okay. Maybe I should put fucking subtitles on. Or inside her and you feel what well, feels like a warm walnut shell. That's her. 
G spot. If you get both of us at the same time, oh my god! Uh, this one time we were having sex, we were hyped up on Rockstar like energy drinks, like hyped, hyped up on Rockstar energy drinks, hyped up, jitly. And uh, I went down on her several times. I could not come for the life of me; it was pissing me off. But I think it's because of the Rockstar caffeine. I, I could not. I was like, oh my god! So I went down on her, and I think she, you know we spent like an hour and a half, two hours at it, and. <laughs> I could not fucking come. And she tried her hardest to get me to come too. I'm like, I cannot do it. I'm sorry. She's like, that's okay. I'm like, are you good on your orgasms and whatnot? She goes, yeah. I'm like, well, that's all. I are you good on your orgasms? And stuff? He's such a gentleman. I care about, you know. <laughs> well, I know when she's having an orgasm because, you know, she twitches like a uh, Parkinson's patient. She kind of shakes a little bit. and <laughs> You know, her leg kind of twitches a little bit. You know, and then several of those, it's like, oh. I'm like, you okay? You're twitching. She goes, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like, oh. So by the viewer discretion is advised. The sense of its <laughs> sensitive side to kick over. Yeah. I'm giving it an orgasm. Beginner's luck? More like beginner's fuck. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how I know I'm doing. I just guessed and my guesswork pays off. And I'm like her first boyfriend, I'm her first girlfriend. So he does kind of look like the Alice Toy Burn dude. Hold on. It's the first time for both. Should we get a we gotta get a comparison? Like once he's bald, like and he is balding. That's true. Both of us. <laughs> I'll give her a heads up so it doesn't like shock her, you know? Like, I'll watch a killing one come inside you or outside of you. I'll give her the option, you know? And, okay, so before I met Stephanie, um, a while back at job, I started serving grapefruit. So I'm like, oh, grapefruit. Never had that before. And I actually liked it. You know, I like eating grapefruit with sugar and all that. And normally, you know, after so many years of rejection, it's like, okay, I got to quit caring about love and sex and all that because it's never going to happen. Well, it actually did happen, but it's before I met Stephanie. <laughs> So that's the, I don't know who the seven person is. This is who Big Al looks like. Not Big Al. I think it's just Al's Al's toy barn. This is the dude. I can't do like a side by side comparison. I don't know how to do that. Oh, is this a real person? It's like the closest thing. I guess like yeah, if he had a goatee, you know, he kept his hair like that. Maybe one day he wants to own a toy store. I think right to uh, sell his wands in and build his clock tower, um, Victorian mansion. Um, on the one time chance that I did actually care, um, I had a great food for a, before I went to bed, and and the thought occurred to me: Can I mix this into a vagina? Hmm. So I ate all the grapefruit out. I poked a hole in the middle of it, and stuck. He's gonna fuck a grapefruit. Got on my dick, wrapped around, and jerked off with it. Wet, cold, and slimy. But like fucking a dead chick. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I wouldn't know. But uh, my roommate's are like, what are you doing? And I'm like, look, I had sex with the grapefruit. He's like, what fucking song? Again with the necrophilia, though. I think I maybe maybe he's into necrophilia. I just, man, I'm like, okay, look, I won't do it again. It's just too well. It's all, it's all good, dude. I'm like, okay, cool. So I threw it away. And then somehow the whole campus found out, found out about it. Because that's how job core is. It's kind of like high school in that aspect. So and at first, I'm like, this kind of pisses me off. You know, people give me shit about it. So... Instead, I decided to make jokes about it. Like, mmm, good aim for this. Sounds so good and juicy. You know, just random shit like that. And people were like, oh, this guy, you know, it's funny as hell, you know. I started doing my dances and shit. And randomly in the sack when they are playing shitty music I don't like, you know. Why are they walking on the train tracks? It would be just such a sad time if they all got hit by a train right now. It's shit like that that... You know, people like, hey, Saunders is fucking crazy. He's funny as hell. Oh, yeah, and then it's going to get to him now. So, fucking great fruit. <laughs> the crazy life of a Gothic King Cobra. <laughs> uh, and it's like, after I had sex a couple times, it's like, well, that's the big deal about sex. That's, you know, it's a great thing to have in the moment, but really, it's not the world's biggest issue in life right now. You know what I'm saying? So, Jessica does kind of look like Jar Jar Binks. Um, I'm going to show a Jessica video after this. I guess, like, hold on. I'll show you guys Jessica real quick here. Just so you guys can, I think, yeah, I can see my that. Precious. Oh my precious. <laughs> um, let me get a better Hey guys, angle. so as you may or may. Let me see here. No, 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 I don't know. You can't really see your face, but yeah, we'll see it. We'll see it later. In a way, it mellowed me out a little bit. Um, and the crazy thing too is I'll be working at Wendy's, man, have my coworkers hit on me too, or not like hit on me, legit, like, you know, subtext hit on me if you, that makes any sense. It's like, what the fuck happened? All I do is get a girlfriend, and all of a sudden, every chick wants to fuck me. Like, no, no, I'm not saying literally, it's just, you know, 
seems like that sometimes it's like okay um wow <laughs> and that's that's gonna be funny too is when i make it big i'm on stage playing concerts and stuff and i'm on mtv and all these chicks that reject me you're gonna go holy crap i knew that guy he used to stalk me what the fuck <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that's what they'll say when they see you on MTV. On the MTV, huh? I think MTV is dead. I haven't heard anybody talk about MTV in a long time. But they're going to be like, damn, that's the guy who used to stalk me. As if he just said that. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, there's been times, you know, uh, at one point, you know, because of my disorder, it really uh, complicated my social life. Um, well, you know, my dad, you know, he means well, but he's kind of a kidder. He likes to joke around a lot, but I'm asked because I took it literally. So I never trusted my dad with advice on women. I, I had to figure that out on my own. I chose to anyway. And I'm 21 now. I'm starting to get a picture of it. But okay, so he's 20. This is him at 21. That's a good, whoa. That's a good way to know where we're at in life. Um, he had a full set of hair. His hair is so thin now. Yeah, my dad be like, Oh, Josh, you're like so and so smoochy face, you know, shit like that. And that's how dads are, you know. But that really pissed me off. You know, I didn't care for that because especially when those girls were rejecting me on top of that, I was kind of like taking a shit in my face, metaphorically speaking. Um, so I, um, when my dad was around, I went mean, like shit just to show I don't like women when I really do. And then as soon as my dad left, I'm like, hey, ladies, what's up, you know? And they're like, nah, fuck you, little creep. I'm like, oh boy, I just screwed myself. <laughs> And it's been balled up on me for a number of years. And I finally let my dad know that, what happened and how I felt about it. I mean, he's got a baby face. He just, he kind of looks more like um, a lesbian a bit than a, <laughs> than a young man. That's just my opinion, you know. My dad was like, well, I had no idea, you know. And I think for a while, it's because of those situations. I've hated women and um, my dad as well, but... You know, I'm trying to get over it. You know, I don't hate women by any means now. You know, it's just, a, I just had to come to terms with my own disorder and uh, realize that what's done is done, you know. <laughs> I just think, you know, if, like I'm visiting a town or some shit and I happen to run into one of these ex high school crutches of mine and be like, oh, this is awkward. Hi, Josh, how are you? Oh, hi, so and so. Uh, yikes. <laughs> you know, I like how he's playing this out in his head. Like, this is. I'm going to run into one of these uh, old high school crushes while I'm visiting another town on tour or some shit. Um, and this is the conversation that's going to ensue. No. I love those crazy things. Too. That was it. Okay. I thought it was going to be more. I just set him up for nothing. He let me down. He let me down, Josh. Yeah, man, especially in my experience, it's like some kind of fucking drug. Just fuck with your head, you know? Oh, well, let's go. I had a crush on before I met Stephanie. Um, this Blue Diamond's in the Mist. Um that was some crazy shit man i'll tell you what that was wow she liked to ride harleys you know she was kind of that badass biker babe you know type you know and very attractive just just intense like silver blue eyes just grab at your soul man and then after she left job core i was a complete mess <sighs> yeah she graduated the program in three months flat fastest completer ever yeah oh crap she's gone what am i gonna do now you know and then i took a serious look at myself and go well, this is kind of a repeating thing for you, Josh. You gotta realize that this shit's never gonna happen. So I gave up. And then job court being the way it is, it was very stressful and all that. And I, I attempted suicide with a guitar string. I had one slip not not around my neck. One of my roommates came in and stopped me. And then uh, like a month later, I met Stephanie. <laughs> so that's funny how life goes sometimes, you know, ups and downs. It wasn't my first time attempting suicide and certainly won't it wasn't my last either uh, how did we get to suicide he did this whole documentary was just him rambling he was it's, i don't think he was really talking to anybody except the camera and himself and he had people come around and talk to him but i didn't really see him talk to anyone else he's just talking about himself i didn't see any questions asked i think they just showed up with the camera and he just started rambling and that's the documentary i mean it's a pretty good documentary have you ever seen fubar that's what it reminds me of um, mixed with letter Kenny. Cause like this town is just like, he's like those goth kids in letter Kenny. That's his crew. And then there's just a whole bunch of like people on meth. <laughs> and they've all broken up with their girlfriends and they're on probation and drunk. It's a, it's a time. And Chris, there's like this guy, everyone knows Chris. Everybody knows Chris, even the 13 year olds. Stabbing myself, I've tried cutting my wrist. I've tried strangling myself. I've tried choking myself out. You know, 
I really want to do a probably had a more effective method like swallowing poison or taking a gun to my head, but I don't have a gun, so. <laughs> and you know, at this point, it's like okay, you know, if I'm feeling depressed. There's there's a way around it, you know. I'm not gonna trust the drug companies, obviously, but you know, it's one of the reasons why I dr I drink so much. You know, it helps level up my depression a little bit. Ghosts of my past haunt me. I say fuck them and keep walking down this road of empty real track. Cause my mind. I think he's put on a lot more weight in the. I guess this was ten years ago. Yeah, this is ten years ago. Um, this is a good documentary if you're to study mental illness, <laughs> especially with the music. It just feels like a fever dream. It just feels like uh. So I said, yeah, the fake gun, the fucking fake gun. He what? I that was recently too, because he was talking about that in the recent interview. He went to a bar with a fake gun and a real host holster. Uh, that could have ended really bad for him. Side profile is uh, super Neanderthal looking. I mean, he's very uh, primitive, you could say. He's a primitive man. He's a, I think he looks like a cobra, but that might just be ingrained, you know, because of his name. Ever more open, expand, like an empty barrel trying just keep walking. Nothing to do but talking, just keep walking, living life one day at a time. <laughs> is he trying to get sympathy i think he's just trying to i think he's this is him genuinely trying to be cool like he's like yeah some guys have uh, wanted to do a documentary on me and i'm gonna be the coolest guy possible he was drinking a lot of jagger before he was smoking a lot of tobacco um and now he's outside with this face on <laughs> it's shirtless um i guess it's cold it's wyoming that the fuck is that it's a shirt ah oh, it's a shirt <laughs> i think if i do work out my muscles get bigger than that size they don't shrink or anything and my muscles fall faster than the average man yeah. <laughs> they have evolved. My muscles evolve faster than the average man. I think they're gonna do a fire next. That's what we. That's what we like. They always get that. That's a little treat. My hair is from my gym is to my father. I know this. You know. Area, you know, Evansville's got like the rib restaurant over there, the bar, and just trailers all over the place. So it's just a nice little subdivision of Casper. You know, it's something too fancy, but it's a place to live. So walking through the woods of Casper, mountain range, deranged, pained, ten gauge, my lyrics on a rampage to blow your head like I blow the mind. I kiss my past, kiss my ass, and throw it behind. Kiss your own ass? What? Uh, what the fuck is happening there? Like a fart, don't even start. You want to start the shit and I'll take a fart and piss. Sit there and diss on me. Fuck on me. I say, fuck on you. <laughs> what? That's from, uh, what the fuck is that from? The hangover or something? Fucking guy. Oh, yeah. That was some crazy freestyle, bro. What was it saying? As of February 2014, um, what's that, 10 years ago, almost to the date, we're just a couple of months off, uh, like a year, 10 years and a couple of months, uh, Josh Sanders still resides in Casper, Wyoming, working at a local Wendy's. I don't know where he works now. Or Methic. What is this? Josh has moved out of his family home and is currently living in an apartment shared by his girlfriend, Stephanie. They are doing well together. Okay, so he, back here, he had a girlfriend. Wonder what happened to Stephanie.
Long term, I'd like to uh, I like for my music to take off where I can go to concerts on tour and have a dream house built somewhere. Yeah, I still want to build the Gothic mansion. I have I still have the plans. Okay, so that's a quote of his. I'm pretty sure. Are we just going to watch them build a fire? Because if that's the case, I don't really care. Is this the credits? May I help by Eric? Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. We'll switch over, back over. So this is him nowadays. Um, this isn't him, but you'll see him. He's He looks a lot fucking different. And so we're going to finish this interview up from this uh, documentary. And then I'm going to show you this. Uh, we're going to try to figure out why he got evicted. Whoopsies going to bars um because of trolls harassing the places and stuff it's not really that i just stopped going to bars because it kind of i do enjoy i still enjoy going to the bar but just not as much as when i was younger because you know it, it does tend to lose the appeal after a bit when they're charging too much for drinks and you don't know how the asshole next to you is going to get when they start drinking yeah fuck the trolls dude <laughs> A lot different. It looks a lot different. Talks a lot different. I stopped going to the bars just because it's more convenient to drink at home if anything. You know, I get too drunk and pass out. I fall asleep in my chair. And no one's going to be like, hey, you need to wake up, Cobra. I quit sleeping. <laughs> so it's just more for the convenience and the you're just not into it as much anymore? No, but I did have a fun time at karaoke the other night. We did too. That was dope as hell. It reminded me of why I still like going to the bars, you know, wearing my tactical soap and smelling sexy for his tactical soap. So, like, I didn't pull this up on screen. I just looked it up on my phone. But I think you guys, I thought about it after I said I should have just put it up. Tactical soap. This is some shit, bro. Um, so if we look up tactical soap, if I knew how to spell, um, it's like pheromone infused soap. So like he wants he wants his own pheromones so <laughs> tactical so so like I don't know, the the King Cobra Josh pheromones put into a fucking bar of soap and he's like going to my going to my bars with my tactical soap on mm. for the bar honeys you know a question I just thought of was you you seem to when we when we did go to the bar you seemed to really really enjoy the communal aspect of it and the the other people singing karaoke and everything is that is that like a big appeal to you yes it is just keeping the music alive you know yeah, yeah mute other people enjoying music and stuff like that. yeah man do you recognize a difference between malicious trolls and trolls that are like having fun with you maybe i'm starting to yes but sometimes it's hard to tell yeah. having autism i can't tell who's fucking with me and who's being legit and sometimes i'll take like constructive criticism and like mistaken as trolling and it's like i didn't ask for your constructive criticism i don't give you fucking my two cents and if i do it's on my channel and no one's forcing you to fucking watch yeah yeah like it seems like it's why is he switching his sunglasses up for different sunglasses it seems like there's two at least from the way i view it it seems like there's two um and maybe you view it differently because you're just getting fucked with and you don't want to get fucked with at all. But it seems like, um, like the swatted, like the troll that swatted you, that's, that's malicious. But then it seems like people will send you. I hate that my YouTube trolls need to get a life more than I need to get laid. Your obsession with me is fucking sad. Sorry about that. Yeah, it seems. What? What is that? Is that Siri? Why was he telling Siri that? Was that a voice memo? Did he just want to remember that later? What was that? Seems like they're like the troll. For example, the troll that swatted you. Um, this guy's just trying to get back on point. He's like the troll that swatted you, though. You know, I'm trying to <laughs> just, just, just like fucking yelling into that's Siri's noise. Hold up, look. If we hold down Siri. It doesn't make the noise. Hey Siri, do that noise thing. You can check the location of all of your items and devices in the Find My app. 
not what I wanted. Hold up. Hey, Siri. Oh, you made a different noise now. Are you just fucking with me? Do the do the other noise. I don't know how to respond to that. Well, you're fucking okay. Whatever. Um, it was the Siri noise at one point. That's like malicious. But then it seems like like sometimes people will send you like the fake cigar prank. You know where they sent you the fake cigar and it was like this the the snake that came out. Or like the glitter bomb. Yeah. yeah. Like that seems a little less. I mean, it's juvenile, but it's harmless. Yeah, yeah. Do you? So you, you, you said you're starting to come around to seeing a difference between those. Mm-hmm. Do you perceive that as? I hate those more than I love Cobra. Do you see? Do you perceive that? I wonder what that was. I had to psh it out. I wonder if it was an F slur. That difference in your thinking. Do you? Do you see that as like a big change that you've made over the years? Trying to see it. Yes. It's hard with the Asperger's, but I do the best that I can, you know. <laughs> what do you think the end goals of your trolls are? They want to see me dead in a hospital bed. They want to see me homeless in a ditch in a group home, living at home with my parents. What? Is that what the, the evil trolls want? I actually don't know. I can't put my mindset into the evil trolls. Head. So I don't know what their uh, end game is. Maybe it is to do that. That'd be fucking crazy and sick, though. They want to see me commit murder, whatever. They want to see me locked up in a mental institution. It's not going to happen. They want to see me deleting my YouTube channel and everything that I do. And it's just like, dude, the time you waste trolling Cobra is time you could be investing into bettering your life and yourself. Why do you hate Cobra? Ask yourself that important question. Why? He's talking about himself in the third person. That's weird. Because he's got this, this, and this, and this. Well, if you don't have those things, how can you change that? Yeah, like a ventriloquist doll, that evil slappy one. Is that slappy? What kind of shirt is he wearing? What the fuck is that? Is that Shrek? That's uh, Slappy from Goosebumps wearing a Shrek shirt while he's surrounded by cobra stuffed animals don't you want what this man has what is this i don't know what the fuck that is i think ozzy osbourne is like a a bobblehead that don't bobble and books i mean <laughs> i was gonna, gonna try to fake be jealous i get not jealous of any of this do you think that there's an end to the dry spell i don't care if the dry it is Ozzy? I think it's Ozzy, too. Looks like Ozzy. But, like, what is that on his feet? A speaker, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's a, a radio, a lamp? I spell ends, to be honest. No, after almost six years, you just learn to quit caring. The first two to three years were the hardest. Oh, this is Ozzy? The, uh, that's Shrek. I'm sure that's Shrek. Year four and five, which I'm on year five right now. I realize that it doesn't matter if I get laid because dating in general sucks. So instead of like spending all my time fucking complaining because I can't get laid, there are bigger issues in our society. Sickos are a thing. Women and men are getting abused on their relationships. And I hate it. I fucking absolutely hate it so there's no time for love there's no time for a relationship until these problems are fixed in society and then maybe i can retire put up my hat and find love is that what he's saying i think that people like online think that you don't take good care of yourself what do you what do you think you do uh as a part of like self-care you know some something that's just for you that you you know, maybe like some people take baths or do yoga or, you know, just relax or I play guitar to help with my stress. Is that that's like a, a de-stress kind of thing? Yes, it is. Okay. Is that the is that the only thing you have or do you think uh... I carve wands and watch YouTube videos and smoke marijuana and, and, and tobacco. I use tobacco. Yeah. And drink <laughs> kind of seems like cooking is one too you seem to really really enjoy the whole 
process. I do enjoy cooking, yes. It seems like YouTube is your preferred method of media consumption. Like you don't seem to watch very many movies or play games or watch TV shows or like read books that often. It seems like you prefer YouTube over those. I do watch TV shows, yes, but they're all cartoons. And I do play video games on occasionally, just not as much as I used to. Yeah. Why why do you think you like YouTube the most? What is it about YouTube that you just really enjoy? It's random. You're not going to get the same thing. You know, there's like 10 million content creators and they're all just doing their thing. And it's awesome. It's true. It's just the variety. Mm -hmm. amount of stuff. Have you ever considered moving out of Casper or do you want to stay here? No, I want to stay here. I travel the world and see places, but I like, I like Casper. Yeah. This is your home. You like to come back here. Yeah. When I build my clock tower and mansion, I'm, it's going to be on the outskirts of Casper on my own private land. It seems like lately you don't uh, live stream as much. Um, why do you think that is? Internet issues is the only reason. Okay. Chat gets disconnected or it doesn't record the video I'm responding to. The sound shuts off. What is your five-year plan? Where do you see yourself in five years? Building my clock tower dream house. It's been like uh, 10 years in the making this. He says he saw us the plan. Well, he saw the plans back then. But what are the plans look like now? Winning the lottery. <laughs> the lottery. Do you play the lottery? <laughs> yes, I do. When it gets real high. What do you, what, what's your purpose? Yeah, how do you, I don't know. Like, you can't really plan to win the lottery. You can hope to win the lottery. But how do you put that? That's not a plan, Stan. For play is it like scratch offs or is it like the powerball powerball and mega millions <coughs> you want to win the lottery and uh get signed by a record deal that'd be cool like major oh, yeah. record deal a real record label do it do it king cover i believe in you especially lately, maybe like the last couple of years, you've really been blowing up. Um, it seems like you're going into like the next tier of your career and you're getting like a lot of really big opportunities like Danny Brown and ABBA and Preach and stuff like that. Um, but it doesn't seem like you follow up on them very much. Why do you think that is? I get blown up all the time with like people texting me and shit. I don't care how big I blow up. I just focus on doing my thing, you know? Yeah. So you, do you think it's hard to distinguish between like what's a troll and what's like a real opportunity? It can be hard. Yes. Have you ever thought about maybe getting like a second phone? That's like just business. Nope. No. Um, all I guess I would, you know, he could just turn that phone off if he didn't want to be trolled. And then he could keep his personal phone for personal use or just get a Google voice number. You know, I thought he was just having a random thought. But no, that's actually a good question. Why wouldn't he have a business number? Mm -hmm. So recently there's been like a kind of a big campaign to get you on Fish Tank season two. Really? That was the thing? It's like Sam Hyde's Fish Tank? Do you think, what do you think the, uh, do you think you might realistically do that? Yes. Yeah. There wasn't there already a season two. I think it bombed. I think like no one really watched it. Did anyone really watch the first fish tank? I mean, I heard of people talking about it, but it just wasn't. I don't know. It, it, it was a good idea on paper, I think, but I just don't think. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't think it was all there. I had high hopes for it. I um, Sam Hyde is a funny guy, but I don't know. Um, Ryan, thank you for the $10 super stat. Super chat. Super chat. Uh, starting a Megan Steve future feline adoption. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. I need, yeah, I need to get us some, uh, some um, feline babies. If I want to watch Puff and I'm totally down. My family said they'd help with that. Oh, Puff is missing now. That's, that's a new development. I was rooting for this guy. I was like, you know, uh, he's got Puff, his fucking lizard. Everything's going to be good. He, it's missing, I think. 
Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the people that talk? I am alive, Teresa. You're alive too. How are you doing? How are you doing tonight? Talk about your friendship with Ellen. Depends on what they're saying. And I don't have a friendship with her anymore. We don't even talk to each other. I leave her alone and I just ignore her. Look at the if I'm hanging out with Walt and Angie, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And she comes over to visit her parents. I don't even acknowledge her. Just to be polite. And that's it. If I walk by her, I'll say, excuse me, just to be polite. Yes. And that's the extent of it. Do you feel like the trolls ruined that? They did. And me oversharing and bragging about our friendship didn't help either. Awkward silence. This is the time where you would ask another question or follow-up question. I don't know. Maybe he's thinking. Much more. You could also have edited this out, too. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I won't be too nitpicky. Yeah, I should stop doing that. Couldn't handle having girls they like scared off from them because of me. They would fucking hate being treated like me. Sometimes you mention businesses, local businesses and stuff on stream. And it seems like... Um the trolls then take that business and then start harassing them. Um, do you, have you tried to like mention businesses less as time has gone on just because like, do you feel like you can't mention businesses on stream now because, because the trolls are just going to fuck with them? Pretty much. Yeah. I try to get the free advertisements and be like, Hey, you know, this gets the Cobra seal of approval and like, yeah, exactly why. And I don't want them getting harassed just because I'm trying to get them free more customers, you know? Yeah. Oh, the Cobra seal of approval. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, sorry if I... No, you're right. No, you're good. You're good. You don't need to apologize. Um, that's what this is here. You can voice your opinion as long as it's within reason and you're not uh, being like racist or anything like that. Then I think YouTube will automatically get rid of it, but I don't want that stuff on my channel either. But no, you can you can rant away. No worries. Are there any big things that you still want to do with your life? Career goals, travel, personal goals, stuff like that? Not at the moment, no. I do want to see London and Big Ben someday, but I don't have to wait. If you could take three things from your apartment to a deserted island, what would they be? I like this question. I wonder what I am going to guess that it'll be his guitar. He's got to bring his guitar, right? Um, me, maybe mead or uh, stuff to make mead. Maybe. A, I don't know how much he reads or if he would bring a book or a movie. I know he's bringing that fucking guitar. Maybe he'd bring the lizard. I, I'm going with guitar. I can't think of another two. Maybe a guitar, lizard, and mead? Maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what he says. Oh, wands. I forgot about wands. All right, Ryan. I think you I think you might got it. I can't change my answer, but let's see what he says. Whoops. My computer's not working. I puffers. And plenty of food to keep them alive. And like the stuff for, for my cell phone. Wait, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> And like the stuff, puffers, and plenty of food to keep my puffers. Okay, so his like inhalers. I thought he meant the the lizards, so that I had to come back. So his inhalers, and plenty of food to keep him alive. Food, okay. And like the stuff for from my cell phone, so I can like make videos on the island. Um, what a, so no guitar okay i'm surprised i'm surprised um how does how does having mental illness affect your relationships with others they tend to stay away from me like most the to josh and my randomness then they don't care Does that bother you? Yes and no. Do you go to therapy? Whoa. Current. I think the hat did that, TD. The hat. He wears the hat too much. Um, it's that leather crazy hat. Apparently, yes. Do you enjoy it? 
No, yes and no. What do you like and not like about it? I like having someone to talk to and just bitch without being judged. I don't like it because... You know, talking about it's not going to make make it go away. Therapy is just a more healthy way of dealing with your problems, I guess. Yeah. Talking about your problems doesn't make them go away. Drinking your problems away doesn't make it go away, so it's just frustrating, I guess. By the end of the interview, I could tell Josh was starting to get a little short. When Josh is confronted with too much, he doesn't really just start to get angry. He just kind of shuts down. He doesn't really get pissed. He just fully stops responding. This is kind of the point that we got to with him. After the interview, I wanted to give Josh a parting gift. While we were in town, we had a custom sign made for him. It was a reference to a joke that he had made earlier in the week at the bar. I hoped it was something he could remember us by. And a thank you for being so hospitable. Just want to say again, like 100% dude, you were fucking super gracious for all this, letting us come in here and invade your space for a week. Um, and just opening your life to us, we really appreciate it. So we got you this made. Um, it's a little sign for your house. That is badass. Um, with your favorite colors and the snake on it and stuff. It's a little canvas, so you can just should just be able to nail it up somewhere. Um, Thank you so much. Yeah. With that, we headed out once again. But before. Well, that's cool. I don't know. I I uh, maybe I th I was expecting more because we filmed it, right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we got the back of his head. I got this his expression and everything. Wait, is this Chris? What does that say down there? I can't even read that. Day six. Is that Chris? Hold on. We might, we might, if that's Chris, we got to watch that too. I wasn't expecting Before we that. left, I wanted to try and get an interview with Clint. Josh's dad is a very large figure in his life and his channel. He's almost as much a part of the Cobraverse as Josh himself is. He can be a very divisive figure. I fucking part of the Cobra, very large to. figure, and wanted to try and get an interview with Clint. Josh's dad. Clint. Okay. That is a very large figure in his life and his channel. He's almost as much a part of the Cobraverse as Josh himself is. He can be a very divisive figure. Some people don't think that he takes as good of care of Josh as he should, and this. This inspires a lot of hatred. He can be pretty out. But this isn't Josh's dad. Josh's dad is some other. Does Josh's dad get really fat? Hold on. I don't know. We'll let him. It's almost to this next part. I don't want to miss information that I did two times already. <laughs> okay. Spoken as well, which adds fuel to the flame. I figured I had to try and get an interview with him if I could. Josh was not very receptive to this idea at all, though. At this point, I figured it was a lost cause. I would later email Clint after the trip was done and have a brief dialogue with him. We left Josh, and after the interview, I honestly expected him to be upset. I knew I was going to have to press him on certain topics, but he responded pretty well to it. He was excited for the project and wanted to see it come to fruition. We left and prepared to meet Darth the next day. Darth? Darth. This was the last day we spent with Josh. We agreed to meet Josh and Darth in a park nearby Josh's apartment. We arrived at- Who is Darth? I don't know who Darth is. I mean, I guess this guy. That's not Chris though. Or at least the guy, the homeless veteran dude. That's who I care about. Is he in this documentary at all? I don't care about Darth. Is that Chris? Is that Chris? Yeah, okay, this might be Chris. Let's see if this is Chris. If this isn't Chris, at least we'll know what this guy's name is. I'm pretty sure that's the same guy. We didn't see Josh on our second day in Casper. He had let us know that he needed to spend the day with his dad, going to the post office and making wands with him. I figured this was a good thing because it gave Josh some time away from the cameras and it allowed us to do some recon around Casper. Casper, Wyoming is the town where Josh was born, but it's also the town where he spent most of his life in. Casper is just as big a part of Josh's YouTube channel as any homeboy or food review. He talks about Casper all the time. He constantly mentions what a great town it is. He name drops businesses that he likes near. 
his community bad place. Josh is citizens of Casper, but this hive of scum and villainy that it seemed to have been made out to be. I wanted to look a Casper, Wyoming was an oil. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm trying to get to just vice president and secretary of defense. All I want to know is if this man, his name is Chris and what he had to say, how the fuck are we like, why, what does this guy have to do with anything? I don't even bro. It's a good video. I'm not trying to say it's a bad video. I'm like, this is my, this is my problem. I should have, I should have picked timestamps or something. Grew up there about it on that the nearby end of but i had decided to get then it was he's any bench but okay. well, I'm getting bench. then it was made out to be online casper and why it was i decided to get someone reputable to give me their words on casper and why it was better than it was made out to be online not, he didn't say his bench. name if he's anything like me we're not sitting on that bench yeah, if he's like Joe, he could sit on that bench, but... Okay. Well, if I'm getting accosted, I guess you'll know. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you just want to state your uh, your name and your title. To sure. Uh, I'm Bruce Nell. I am the mayor of the city of Casper, Wyoming. Oh, that's Bruce, and he's the mayor, so he's not the homeless man. Okay, we're getting out of here. No more of this. Um, unless... I don't know. No, we're not going to get lost in any more weeds. I don't know why the mayor of Casper is in the fucking documentary. That's crazy. You may not know King Cobra is being evicted from his apartment again. He so said, this is about him getting evicted from his apartment. Um, and these are the clips about that. And there might even be new clips. I'll look it up while this is going. That he is not giving us the details at this time and that he might spill the tea once he's in his new place. However, Queen Cobra gave more details in her stream today. Oh, really? Did I make the false North complaint saying that I was purposely trying to flood the place out? Show me where when I did that laundry stream that that deserved a noise complaint. No, the f didn't. Show me where I screamed, yelled, did anything. I mean, that, that those clips are in here. This is uh, the, Goyle zone, the Goyle Zone. So if you like this video, go give them a sub. Um, I think this is like a pretty good summarization of clips. There's also another video where they're actually showing like comments up on screen while he was reacting to them. He got like drunk two days ago on April 1st uh, at 10 in the morning uh, going on about how he was evicted. I haven't seen all of it. So this will be a learning experience for all of us. Um, and then maybe we can see if there's any more updates since yesterday. This is all prepped yesterday. So, uh, yeah. No, I politely and calmly went to one of his neighbors. That was a false report, you but I did not do all of this. Do I have a hand in some of it? Yeah. Did I do all of it? No, the I didn't. You little have a hand in this too. And you know who the you are. You're a noise complaint. You're a noise complaint. What? They were fake evicted? I, I don't know. That would be a twist for me. I don't know much about this man. I'm just learning about him. Um, it's a fake eviction. Because I didn't do anything in the laundry room except do Josh. Oh, I, okay. Never mind. I think you, never, these guys, uh, she flooded the laundry room and they got evicted. So I thought you were talking about King Cobra. That's crazy. That's uh, some crazy parallels there. His laundry. I don't owe you an apology. You Do, do, do you know who I apologize to? Not you. Why is there just a worm here? I don't know. Where'd this worm come from? Why is it on here? Do I owe the apology to you? Or no. Again, you don't get to know everything. Yeah, that's my bad. I realized after I said it. I'm sorry. Think behind the scenes. The end. Does it involve you? No, it doesn't. Shut the f up. I know the flooding wasn't my fault, but they literally put in a false noise complaint over it. And I was trying to defend myself over it. There was no noise they have plenty of complaints on record about that flooding so she says there was a noise complaint on the day of the laundry incident i happen to have some clips from that day i don't know why she's dancing out there that's just like a thing she does once we get a good uh close-up of her we can see how she's like judge her things so this is her flooding the place so it's a flit of flooding look at a look at a whoop um and she's like ah 
She on mute. I don't know why she's on Sorry, mute. Sorry, my hand touched it. Uh, I need to go find somebody. So now you're going to hear her yelling, which would, I think, warrant a noise complaint. Oh, my God. Lord have mercy. What the? This is not my fault. I did not do it. I did not do it. God damn it. Why is this my life? This is not my life. So apparently you're not supposed to do two loads at the same time. Why is there two things there then? I mean, like, I, I, I can kind of get where she's coming from. That's stupid. Why is it set up like that? You got to wait for one to like fill up and get going i guess and then then do the other one but that was not my fault maintenance knows about this i guess it happens all the time so awesome I wonder if she's telling the truth or if they're both trying to downplay the fact that she kept yelling and fighting in the middle of the night. The next clips are from King Cobra's stream where he admits to being evicted and talks about Queen Cobra and defends her behavior. Why is she dancing like this? She's a weird person. Do I miss Jessica? To a degree, yeah. That's why she's not, you know. Do what you want to say, though, but Jessica is a good woman. I mean, she has her moments like I do. People are telling me all this crap about Jessica, and I'm like, well, here's how I look at it. I have my moments, too, and she freaking cares about me, so what do you do? You know? Like, me and Jessica are very similar in a lot of ways. In some ways, we're not. My birthday was kind of crappy, to be to be honest. It was beyond shitty. My birthday sucked. And I don't want to get into it right now. But it wasn't entirely her either. It was also my YouTube trolls, for that matter. But let's not get into that. Jessica just needs people to love her in her life. That's all. It's very apparent that she suffered some psychological abuse issues over the years. I'm not sure to what degree, but it's none of my business. I hit myself sometimes, too, to be honest. And I've been known to be verbally abusive to people in my life. No, that was not cool, Jessica, to say that. But she apologized, and she made what she said was wrong. And I apologize for what I did. Eh, not necessarily because... How about you just don't, like, air your whole relationship on the internet? I don't, I don't know. That, I mean, I, I don't know. That's just a suggestion, I guess. You wouldn't even have to justify this to your audience or anything. Um, why is she, like... I don't know. She's calling way too many shots. She's, like, banning people. She's unmodding people. She's fucking... Um, she made her own channel and she just streams on that now. I think she's just trying to get clout. That's literally the odd. That's all I think she's trying to do. Because of her, because of my YouTube trolls are assholes, but it is what it is. I'm not going to fully get into it. I'm going to leave you in the dark on it for a hot minute because I don't want to talk about it. The whole thing just makes me want to pull my hair out. What's left of it? And I'm not trying to be a dick, but I suspect that Jessica has been in a lot of relationships that were super abusive and unhealthy, so that's all she knows. So her reaction, you know, is going to be to, she's not used to having a guy who cares about her, that kind of thing. I don't want to marry Jessica until I'm in a much, much, much bigger place. Like, I don't want to marry anyone until I've built my clock tower dream house. Until the clock tower dream house. I'm looking at this other screen right now to see like if there's any new stuff. It's that this guy is doing a stream saying Jared Genesis attacks Queen Cobra. What? Where the fuck? Jared Genesis is a crazy. He's a pedophile. I mean, I could say he said he wanted to date a nine year old. So I have no problem saying that. Um, oh, he visited the cemetery. I guess we could watch that. But what the fuck is this shit with uh, Jared Genesis? I don't know. We might have to look into that. We got some time. Thank you. I do have to move, yes. What the fuck is happening? But like I said, I'm not going to get into it. 
or say when I got to be out or any of that. That's just, or if I found a place or anything like that, you know, that's just none of your damn business. I'm not going to be homeless, dude. Trust and believe that. So it'll be fine. Okay. And I don't want to get into like the details of how crappy my birthday is. Because you, you basically got the details, the deets. But I've been taking the steps that I need to make it happen, Captain. Moving's going to suck ass. I love living up here, but it is what it is. No, she's not, but thank you for your 279. I know it's not normal, but I see a lot of myself in Jessica. That's why I don't judge her, to be honest. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that she's toxic for me. And quite frankly, I don't care. Like, I don't need lap dances from strippers. Okay, I can get a lap dance from Jessica next time I see her, which may not be for at least two months, and it is what it is. My dad is not mad that I have to move. If anything, we're just sick and tired of all the bull. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't go out of my way to f with people. I know I have to move because my trolls are trolls, and I'm just leave it at that. And I don't want to move because I really like it up here. The building manager is a really chill dude. You know, the staff here are amazing. The view is amazing. Like, I like living up here, but I'm going to find something better. I'm going to have to. People need to be not sure to Jessica. That's all I'm saying. You know, I'm just, I'm tired of people bullying Jessica. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't need more mental stress. Well, my current landlord has been very patient with me. One of the best landlords I've ever had. Really super nice dude. Willing to work with you. But there's only so much you can do, and that's not fair to him, and it's not fair to me. And honestly, I'm not mad at him. Or I, did, I still haven't gotten, like, a clear answer as to what the fuck happened. Like, I, as far as I know, people called the apartment over a noise complaint. I think because Jessica knocked on some neighbor's door for some reason and bothered them, that would probably warrant a complaint for them to evict them because they're bothering other residents. Um, okay. Okay, I got, I got Jared. <laughs> should we, should we watch this now? I mean, I didn't know Jared Genesis was back on YouTube. Jared Genesis is a crazy fucking guy as well. Maybe we can cover him. I mean, I don't really, he's pretty boring, but like, why is he getting involved with this shit? Hold up. This is Jared Genesis. He has 127 subs and 17 videos. He's, uh, he's fresh meat. I mean, he, he keeps deleting his channel or getting hacked and docs or violating YouTube's terms of service by showing, he showed porn on stream one time to get at someone stream sniping him. He's like, ha ha, you just showed porn on stream. So your channel's getting taken down too. But the guy wasn't even showing his stream. So he just, he, he kamikaze himself into nothing. He, he, like, he killed his channel for nothing. Um, so that's, that's, the man, this man, this Jared Genesis man, and he also said that he would date a nine-year-old, so he's a he's a pedophile, in my opinion. Um, so this is his video on King Cobra JFS got karma in woman form. This is his take, I guess, on the situation. I just think like that's fucking crazy that uh <laughs> Jared Genesis is getting involved in this. What is this? <laughs> What's going on, guys? Jared Genesis here. And um let me just move my camera real quick. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> OCD Genesis in the house. So I wanted to talk about King Cobra's new girlfriend. And I just wanted to say this too, bro. Like, I do not like talking about this ugly little gnome. I really don't. He makes me sick to my stomach. Uh, he's an absolute just degenerate and everything. I mean, like, at least he's not a pedophile, though, with a bunch of, like, what is all this shit in your background, Jared? This looks like a little kid's room. How old are you? 40-something? Going on 50? That's sus. That's some sus shit. You got a nice fedora there. You got gray hairs on your face, bro. You got gray fucking hair. You're still living in your mom's, uh, not basement, but that little room above the garage. <laughs> they keep you like a fucking, you know, um, in that Treehouse of Horrors and Bart Simpson has that twin that they keep locked up in the attic. It's like kind of like that in the crawl space. That's what Jared is uh, to his family. Because he's the degenerate. I don't know why he's throwing stones and glass houses here. Every way possible. You guys got to understand. Sometimes karma comes in the form of women. And that's exactly what happened to Josh. 
he's now getting karma for the way that he's Jared also self-identifies as an incel, so he might just be jealous that Josh actually is getting pussy. I don't know. Like I, just, I don't know. It just seems I don't know why Jared is doing this. I don't like Jared. If you can't, if you can't tell, <laughs> treated his fans for the way that you know he treats his family. Um, he's a disgusting pig. Okay, the guy is a total bum, and so now. But at least he's not a pedophile. Oh, a parasite has entered his home, which, by the way, I what I just heard is uh, she's the reason he got kicked out of his apartment. And so now he's going to... Well, maybe Jared can enlighten me because I still want to know what like actually happened. Maybe Jared's got the deets. And I move into her stinky, smelly house and they're probably going to have stinky... Is that, is that the plan? That's a terrible plan. Did he say that was the plan when I was like looking for recent stuff from today? Because that would be... A bad plan. He smelly kitties together, you know, and <laughs> just, oh man. I mean, it is, it, it truly is a parasite. These narcissists, like the way they act. And um, I don't know this Jessica very well, but let's just be honest. Anyone who would date a disgusting pig like Josh, I mean, has to have some kind of ill intent, <laughs> like no woman can you give some examples on why you think josh is so vile and disgusting or whatever like if you say well you know the necrophilia stuff and the antelope thing or whatever i don't even know if jared knows about that stuff i think he just sees like oh this is someone i want to kick them when they're down you know because i got a lot of people gunning for me so maybe if i gun for an easy target uh i can kind of group myself in i don't know but jared bro would ever want someone like Josh. He's an alcoholic douche. Okay. He he's a simplet. He has no muscle. He's scrawny. You know, um, he has a disgusting fucking beard. Um <clears throat> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just and he, he wears stupid crinkle hats. <laughs> like he sat down on them first before he Bro, you're wearing a fedora in your forties. In your 40s. Put it on. You know, uh, look, I'm just going to say it like this. Okay. And I'm not saying this to bully him, but he's retarded. And the only. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, sometimes I miss Heather, you know. Woman that would ever like him would, would have to be way more on the spectrum. And again, I'm not saying that to be a bully. That's just how it goes. <laughs> you know what I mean? With humans. Uh, 99%, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe there's some rare, rare exceptions where it works, but not with Joshy Poo, because Joshy Poo is a bum. He's a dirty bum and a douche. Um, <clears throat> I mark my words on this. Jessica will. I think Josh is a nice man. He's an eccentric individual, like darker fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I've never seen Josh do anything bad. I've seen him say some weird stuff. But nothing like pedophilic. He seems to really care about the kids. He doesn't want sickos to groom them or whatever, right? But he's like, he doesn't talk about that anymore. I think that's probably a good idea. I don't think he um it's up to the task. Uh, it's, I mean, there's some pretty intelligent people who get like stuck in corners with that shit. So I don't think like King Cobra is the person to take on that fight. But um, like I haven't heard anything from Jared that's like that. He's just like, oh. He looks gross and he's an alcoholic. Okay. Lots of people are alcoholics. And like, I don't know. You're, if you got to go something, you got to go after something more than his looks for me to consider him a degenerate, Jared. Ruin his life. She will. I know how narcissists work. She just wants his clout. You know, she wants to be a superstar. She. I don't even disagree with this. I think, he, I think he's right here. Wants to take his place. That's how narcissists work, you know, like with my trolls, they want to take my place because no one wants to <laughs> share its place. The 120, then what would I have? Yeah, no, for real, Jared. I just every day I dream I could be Alpha Genesis, Jared Alpha Genesis. They're losers and they can't make it on their own. And so they devote their lives to me. It's it's like that with her, bro. You know, she's now devoted her life to him. She's basically a troll that lives in his house. You know what I mean? It's crazy, bro. And then he he's such an idiot. Of course, he won't see this. You know, of course, he's not going to see this because he's, you know, he's retarded. 
and he's not intelligent. Um, it is what it is, Joshy Poo. You did this to yourself, bro. You refuse to get help, you know, with your alcohol addiction and other silly bullshit. You know, you still want to play Harry Potter. Oh, I'm going to make some wands, you know, fucking. <laughs> it's just so helpful. What is this, though? What is all this? What is, I don't know. What's this man? Pa -pa Parappa the Rapper? Some frog man? I don't know. Maybe the frog. What are, what are these things? Like, these are like little kids comic book not even comic books i don't know magazine cutouts i it's like this looks like a kid's room gears of war okay i think that's gears of war i don't know what the fuck this thing is <laughs> this shit is, he's got a drum set he got a drum set above the garage he's like uh step brothers but like worse if step brothers were pedophiles and one of the step brothers died that's what this guy is hilarious you're a goofball dude you're like in your 30s you know making stupid wands bro no woman would find that attractive dude like really son no woman in their right mind would think that's sexy <laughs> i'm sorry. sorry i'm just being brutally honest dude that's like i'm all about finding your own hustle in life but you're pathetic dude you're pathetic in every sense of the word you need to grow up fucking man up go to the gym Stop eating goddamn fast food full of estrogen, okay? That's what's making you into a soy boy. You're eating those goddamn Big Macs every day, you know, loaded with those chemicals with the fucking um, <clears throat> Adrena, C-H-R-O-M-E. Okay. What is that? I've never heard of that. That's what's in McDonald's these days? Okay, you know what I'm saying? The shit that turns the frogs gay. It sure as hell turned you gay, I'll tell you that much. So, Joshy... Get your life together, dude, or she's going to ruin your life. She's going to turn you into an even bigger bum to where you'll be on the streets and, you know, your trolls are going to come visit you every day. <laughs> It'll be funny to watch, I have to admit. It will be kind of funny to watch seeing you dig through, you know, garbage cans, just like the dirty bum that you are. So uh, get help, bro. I'm, I'm praying for you, dude. Um, you know. He's praying for him. He's praying for him. Alpha, this guy, like, I'm surprised he's back. This is all he does, by the way. He's like the James Soroka, but at least James Soroka was in a car or outside of a Walmart or a Starbucks threatening to shoot people or outside of a bus station going on a racist rant. He just sees too much of a pussy to do any of that. He stays in his room with a sheet over his fucking, um, what's that called? A window? Sheet over his window. Uh, filled with like toys from his youth. Uh, unemployable. Um should be on the registry might be on the registry i don't know he keeps getting catfished by uh people claiming to be like fucking preteens pre that you know so i don't know i don't like jared what else does he have to say anything about you probably not how much more longer to listen to this guy you know you need jesus uh, dude you need jesus very very badly and uh you know your soul will be condemned to hell unless you cry out to God, you will be thrown into the fires of eternal hell, you know, eternal hell fire. Um, your soul will burn there, Josh, for all your blasphemies, for everything you've said against Jesus, against God, you will rot in hell for that, dude. I'm don't think that fun. you won't. And don't think it's going to be a party because guess what? Hell, I thought hell was going to be a party. What are you breaking my fucking spirits, Jared? Hot shot. God created hell. Never forget that bitch. Okay. God created hell. He is a hardcore Christian, I believe. Um, so that might be why he's so upset. He's spaghetti about that kind of shit. So I'm going to come back here uh, for a hot second. I'm just going to see because I should probably show you guys like, um, my receipts so you guys don't think like oh steve is just being crazy um calling people pedophiles for no reason uh no i have i i watched the video recently very recently uh and i can't <laughs> find it uh let's see no 
All right, well, I'll play this while I try to find it. I thought I'd find it faster than this. Anyone here, it's just the life that I live. You know what I'm saying? The last time my YouTube trolls got me kicked out of my last apartment, I got into a bigger and bigger space. Do so you think they would learn? That the Cobra just, you know what I'm saying, doesn't do them any good. I've never complained on my neighbors. I've never gotten a complaint in like the last five years. The biggest reason why I didn't stream with Jess. We did. We did watch it. Um, that's why I was like, I should be able to find it, but I can't because we watched too much other stuff. So it's like way back in the history. And um, I, when I searched it, since he's back now, his videos are flooding the algorithm. So I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where it is. So we'll just take my word for it. Uh, it happened. He was like, I don't care if you're nine years old or 99 years old, I would get with a, a nine year old. And it's because they're spiritually pure or something. It was gross. It was disgusting. Um, so I, that's why I have no problem calling him a pedo. He, by the definite, if he's attracted to fucking kids in a sexual way, he's a fucking pedophile. So he admitted he was bada bing, bada boom. Woo woo. Uh, no, it's not on that channel. So I don't know what channel it was on. I was trying to find the, because one of his channels got hacked and that was a channel that was put on. But um, he has like a billion. Well, not. I think people make clones of his channels. So, yeah. Yeah. Jessica very much when she was here. It's because I'd rather spend time with her than thinking about me streaming all the time kind of thing. But... It is what it is. Because like I said, I will go live when I want to. No outside factors determine that. This is my YouTube channel. Now, I'm not going to judge Jessica for her uh, right, mental problems help. because I've got mental problems too. One. Like, don't judge someone unless you judge yourself. Judge not unless you be judged and treat others the way you want to be treated. Jessica has her panic attacks and I get that. I feel that. But it's going to be okay. It's going to be just fine. Life happens. All we can do is make the best of it. If Jessica's freaking out right now, I'm sorry. It's not my fault. You got to take the bad and the ugly in life and make it something beautiful. That's that's what it's all about. When I get posted up in a new spot, I'll let you know. I'll make a video and be like, I'm back. <laughs> stay alive, stay alive. <laughs> I'm a woman's man. Ain't no time to talk. I'm back. <laughs> Lovely, awesome Jessica better not be cutting herself on her stream. Jessica, stop it. Don't you worry about you. Is that what she was doing on her, her stream? I was hoping we'd actually catch one of their streams because they're usually live. Like, at least one of them is usually live. Um, but not today, I don't think. Jessica, dude, like, I'm not going to lie. But next week, I'm going to be busting my ass looking for places and doing what I can. And I'm confident I'll get into a place here soon. I got a good feeling about it. Something's just telling me to just keep doing my thing and quit worrying about it. <clears throat> Dude, good Lord, that fart smells horrible. I don't want any drama with Jessica. I deal with enough drama with all my YouTube trolls. I'm just here to keep her safe and make her feel loved and appreciated. Even if I don't say it, I found it. I found it. Okay. So I'll, I'm going to airdrop it. And then you can see um, his views on consent. I might skip over this part actually of Cobra too, because I don't know. He's just he's talking. There's a better video. It's big, better video. Um, sorry, let me go look at the chapters here so we can get uh, under the right one. But we got blah, 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 blah. Defense Queen. Some recent interesting clips. So we'll go from there when we get back. There. She got that that's a better shot of her, which kind of looks like Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> if you were to uh if you were to see it. Um all right. Come on, airdrop. Boom, boom, boom. Share this tab instead, and it should be smooth sailing. Oh, he's in the, I think he's in the same room. I just wanted to say to you, bro, listen, man, you know, to people who want to make stupid judgments about me, 
I support all of the rainbow. And I guess because I'm a creepy dude, I'm a creepy and creepy since Peter filed. I'm not ashamed of that. And I made that very clear in the comments. You can take that however you want. I don't care about age. I date anybody. It doesn't matter. I don't follow society's rules. I don't follow society's rules, okay? That's that's Jared quoting that. I don't express these views, YouTube. This is for educational purposes and to bring awareness to people posing as good guys trying to expose, I don't know, King Cobra for just trying to live his fucking life. He, he got a girlfriend. She's toxic as shit. He doesn't have a lot of relationships under him. So, like, he needs all the help he can get from that from Jared. Yeah, Jared was giving me advice. I would literally do the opposite of it. So uh, I hope King Cobra's listen to him. Um, that's just who I am. And if you don't like it, fuck you. Okay, fuck you. You're a small minded piece of shit. And eventually, within a few years' time, <laughs> you will be forced to agree with what I believe in and with what I support. <laughs> if you feel you have chemistry towards someone, you know, like you connect in a spiritual way, then go for it. Whether they're, you know, 14, sure, 12 is cool with me. That's great, man. See, the funny thing about adolescence is they never sold their soul yet. And so they still have purity in them. And if you can get one young like that, then that's freaking great. I'm just going to tell it to you like that, bro. The world's changing. And if you can't keep up with the world, you're going to get left behind, dude. You will. But the funny thing is a lot of parents are, are so stupid and they insult their own children saying, you know, well, my kid can't date someone younger because their brain hasn't developed. Because basically, you know, it's like saying they're stupid. My kid's stupid. So I don't want them dating someone older because. No, your kid cannot consent. There's, like not because they're stupid. He's oh my god, Jared, Jared, Jared. Jared is an incel. He identifies as an incel. He's like, yeah, incel power or something. I gotta find some of those. Videos. Maybe we'll cover Jared. We'll do a fucking loop around on him. I've done a few Jared streams in the past, but um, that was when he was more entertaining. I don't know what he's up to these days. Just taking shots at Cobra, I guess. My boy Cobra. God damn it. They're just going to make stupid choices because they're dumb. <laughs> what kind of piece of crap parent says that? And to everyone calling me certain names, Peter Files, eventually that will be illegal. What you're doing will be seen as hate speech. And I can't wait to see the day when that fucking happens, bitch. Jared Genesis is a pedophile because he said all that stuff that we just listened to. And then if you look at the definition of what a pedophile is, that's what it is, son. Oh, yes, I would, dude. I would date an 11-year-old, 9-year-old, doesn't matter. I look in the spiritual aspect of it. If I spiritually connect to someone, it doesn't matter, dude. 99, 8, 1,000 years old, doesn't matter. When some of you guys are behind bars, you know, for, for that kind of fucking hate speech, I cannot wait, and that's a big reason why I choose to still be around. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if you think ill of me for that, that's on you. I really don't give a shit. So cheers, guys, for being here, because I know that day will come, and eventually all colors of the rainbow will be accepted, as they should be, okay? No. So uh, you can think of me no. as a monster for saying that, but... Oh, you can think of me as a monster for not wanting this guy on the planet, but I don't know, this is my opinion. Anyways, um, so that's why I don't like Jared. He's a, he's a creepy, crazy man, <laughs> and I don't think he has any grounds to take fucking shots at Cobra. Cobra's an interesting, eccentric guy, but he's not a fucking creep like Jared is. So, fuck Jared. Stay in your lane. Go play with the other pedophiles and leave fucking Cobra alone. This song is like about cocaine or something, but I've never <coughs> done cocaine, so. Except the one time I found an empty bag and I rubbed it on my gums. And I was like, holy, that's what the inside of your nose and brain feels. No, no, no. <laughs> never, 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 never. I'm so stupid to just pick up a random bag, take an old one, like, but, you know, curiosity. So she just found a random bag of white powder and decided to rub it all over her gums because of curiosity. Gotcha. Killed the gun. <laughs> no, John. She is just a walk I had like two or three years ago. It's so funny, stupid story because it's like you don't pick random stuff off the street and put it in your mouth. <laughs> like a little fly girl. <laughs> And no, it was literally an empty white powder bag and I put it on my gums and I said, holy shit, no. That's all. And people literally die over that story. They're like, Jessica, why? I'm like, I don't know. People like that, I, I want to cook for you and be a trad wine for you. And I don't give a
if you think that's sexist because it's not. It's what I enjoy. What kind of life is this, Cobra? Now, this is me, good old Steve, giving you advice. Why do you want to live a life where you're eating a hamburger and this woman is just at, talking at you? <laughs> I don't know. Well, there's a camera on you. It's a very strange existence. I, uh, oh, I mean, if he's happy, I guess. He doesn't look happy, though. Oh. He seemed happier in the interview before Jessica. Just letting you know that, Josh, and you should take it and enjoy it. We're all in the camera. You know me and Josh will have a literal meltdown because that's why we're too deep in the pot, right? We're not there gonna have go. a meltdown. There's no need for it. We've had enough of those meltdowns for a lifetime. Thank you. For a lifetime. <laughs> I don't know. When I'm having dinner with someone, I I would like to look at them. I guess not. We'd be weird. It'd be weird if like we we're facing opposite ways. He's not even looking at her. She's looking right at him. It's weird. I love you, Josh. Damn, Josh. He eats two of them. Is that what? <laughs> I love you, Josh. Oh, he left her hanging. She was like, I love you. And he just gapped. Damn, Josh. He eats two of those fist bomb baby dogs. Bump. Your camera, just, your your thing just turned off, Josh. Is it still recording? No, my monitor turned off. I want to see why it recorded. Well, I I know, but see if it's still on, baby. It just turned off. I will in a second. I'm eating. I know you're eating. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Check this out, YouTube. This is a lucid absinthe. I hope you have a great dinner, Teresa. This is basically absinthe, like genetic absinthe. <laughs> genetic absinthe? This is from this week. What the fuck? Um, bacon and horseradish. This is a what is this? So Diaz and Watson is the name of the company that makes this cheese. It's Diaz, D Dietz and Watson, I guess. I don't know how you pronounce that. Artisserie and cheese. Um, eight dollar machete is for Jessica Mesca. I have never threatened Josh, and Josh knows this. I've talked about that eight dollar machete for quite a while now. Or an $8 machete? You can get machetes for $8 these days? And Josh knows that $8 machete is for Jessica Mesca. Thank you very much. I would never threaten Josh like that. And if I did, I would think he would break up with me. And uh, no, that's for Jessica. And I would never leave Megan hanging. Never, ever. What she's been doing to me, because she's disgusting. So you want to f humiliate me? Not about humiliating you. You're telling me why I don't have friends when you don't even know my whole life story, Josh. Who is this man? Jessica slash Josh post stream fight. A Thad Cox original. I don't know who. The, what does this guy have to do with anybody? No, you're right. So are you here to hurt me? No. I'm are you here to hurt me and insult me or what? I said I'm sorry. I, said I will buy an eight dollar machete right fucking now. That, uh, would you please stop talking like then that? Quit what? insulting me in front of your fans. First of all, I don't. Abuse Josh and oh, so they can be mean to me, but I can't be mean to them. Aw, tough titty said the kitty. Um, tough titty said the kitty. I've never heard that one. I might steal that. Last time I checked, I didn't know vitamins were pills. I don't do pills. I I just do vitamins. I'm just asking. Respect me. I don't want to talk about it. What me and Josh have talked about is not between y'all. Yes, were some things on stream. Yes, was a lot of it a mistake. Yes. But the end result is none of your business. Thank you. We're not perfect. Yeah, we're going to have things. And as long as we can talk through and work, then okay. But none of what we said in between all of that is any of your business. I don't care if you're on my side. I need stress-free is what I'm saying. Stress-free. That's just what I want. I'm so sick right now. The hospital tells me there's nothing wrong with me. I want stress-free. Is that... 
can, can I have that, please? You people act like when I'm blackout drunk, I know what I'm saying. When you're blackout drunk, um, hello, that's when you need help. Exactly. They don't, they don't understand literally blackout drunk. They don't understand what that means. You can physically be here and be... Okay, and my life is watching your dad you in the ass while you scream for help. What? What the fuck? So I don't know. She's trying to justify like, ah, I don't know what I do when I black out drunk. Well, that's not a good sign. That's probably a really fucking bad sign. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. I'm trying to find... He went to the cemetery. I want to pull that up. I do always apologize. I'm very too self-aware to the point that it hurts. Have you ever touched earthworm poop, a.k.a. castings? Oh, my God. Silky soft. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, yeah. Josh has some kinks, but I'm not going to tell you guys, but I'll definitely say he surprised me. <laughs> Josh, he is, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm just going to say that. What do you mean fix the bathroom? I got the bathroom fixed for him, you f idiot. Oh, how long has he lived there? I'm the one that got it fixed. He, he sound it is. And I got his toilet fixed too. Oh, yeah. I didn't see Josh do that. I did that. I was suffering from IBS. Why would I be in the bathtub? Why would I be in the bathtub? Why would I be in the bathtub? I like my bath time. I like water. I had two boyfriends that would literally get jealous of me taking baths. Um, that's also kind of weird. I don't, <laughs> I don't say about that. They thought it was cheating. Oh, but you know what that is? That's literally them putting their projections on me while they're cheating on me while I'm literally in the bathtub soaking and they're on their devices doing what they do behind my back. So if I want to soak in the bathtub or take a seven hour shower, the I will. Because I'm not going to have no man telling me. A seven hour shower? You'd be wasting a lot of fucking water. Seven hour shower. That's insane. That is insane. Um, is this, what the fuck is this? Okay. Yeah, we got some, we got some clips. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. If I can take a bath or not. Literally the two most jealous cheating on me. Oh, I'm cheating in the bathtub? Oh, is there like a man in the bathtub with me or something? Oh, okay. I will go in the bathtub 24 hours a day. I don't give a You don't get to stop me. Do you? You don't get to stop me. Uh, I'm sorry about your projections. This is my channel. You don't want to hear me talk? Get the fuck off of it. Spit in your face. Spit in your face. Oh, you're crying about something? Get off my channel. You don't want to hear it? Get off of here. You're that mentally ill that you're crying about my voice, but this is my channel. Mm, okay. See, she seems like a lovely lady. A lovely fucking lady. Um, yeah, she has a mental breakdown waiting to happen. I'm trying to find... They said that they went to a cemetery. I'm just looking at his like main channel. There was something from four days ago. It looks like he's outside, but I don't know if this is like the cemetery. I'll figure this out. I think we only got a couple minutes left of this one anyways. My channel the last time I checked. My channel. Before I even met Josh the first time, I would do video chats with Josh and Aaron would be over sometimes. He loves big, beautiful women. No, he likes BBW and that's fine. Big women need loving too. But if I could have been the rich... Demogorgon, sucky bussy bitch that I could have been. Yeah, I would give Josh the whole world. It, it would be no chip off my tooth. <laughs> Literally, if his breath stunk, I wouldn't kiss him. He said it himself. I said, Josh, that's true. Um, your breath doesn't. I have no reason to. I do one. It doesn't. Are his teeth perfect? No, they're not. But I've known people with fucking teeth that their breath stinks, okay? His breath doesn't stink. All right. Toodaloo, folks. Toodle fucking loo. 
All right. So this is them at the cemetery. Then I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I still don't really know why or how they got evicted. I think I need to do more research. <laughs> yeah. This is like a hot mess. It's just like a hot, crazy mess. All of this. All of this. Showing out with the spirits. I got my scepter, and a good cigar, and a lighter, and my Ouija board. And we're going to try to talk to the spirits for a hot minute. If they don't want to talk, that's cool. But we're here with nothing but respect. Chilling out in beautiful Highland Cemetery. Just to come like cemeteries I want. That's. Uh... <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay. I'll just show her the location. Check out what I got. If they do have kids. I wonder what their kid is going to think. Like, this is my parents. Just chilling at the cemetery doing a Ouija board. I got this, which I'm not going to be getting obnoxious on, you know. Check this out. YouTube. This is a lucid absence. This is basically absence. Like genetic absence without doing like the whole sugar and all that. I'm going to take a shot for the spirits. Pop that cork. i pour some out for the all the people in here, may they rest in peace, and here's some for the Banshee. I got my bag here, so if I drink a beer while I hang out with the spirits, I put the can in my bag, and just throw the can away in the trash can. Because there's no need to litter, especially in a cemetery, there's just no need for it. We're just going to drink and do a Ouija board at the cemetery and pour absinthe all over the place. I don't know. I don't know. What's this? Are they smoking weed? A cigarette. No, just a just a cigar. Doesn't look like she likes it. All right, I can taste the sweetness that you're talking about. Got an empty can right here for ashen. Keep that cigar going so we don't ash on the ground. Drink this beer, have another shot of that uh, absence, and give it like a couple minutes to see if we get anything on the Ouija board. And if we don't, that's cool too, you know, just vibing and chilling. Mm -hmm. just be Is this life? Just getting drunk outside every day. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is bad. Maybe this is a bad plan. I mean, I guess other people get drunk all, all the time every day. Like successful people. Be sure you too, when you go to a graveyard or a cemetery, you respect the dead. You don't fuck with their shit. Exactly. And if you smoke a cigarette in a graveyard or a cigar, you got something to ash it in so you're not ashing all over the ground. Just out of respect. You know what I'm saying? There's a big difference between pouring a little bit of alcohol on the ground and saying for the homies. You know what I'm saying? And saying for the homies and then ashing cigarettes on the ground? Okay. And I got some delicious pop tobacco I do. What is that? It's cherry flavored. What? I'm going to take a fat pinch out and share that with the spirits. What is it? It bestowed my blessings upon our current location. You know, like these exorcist movies where like it moves on its own. Should you bring an Ouija board into a cemetery that's super haunted? I say yes, it's quite fun. <laughs> but a lot of like demonologists and spirit experts say no. So I ask that you do not follow Jessica home. We are after all in a very haunted cemetery. 
that has Casper's history written into it. And it's very beautiful. And some of the graves are like 1800s, you know what I'm saying? Fuck sickos. Some of the graves are like 1800s, you know what I'm saying? Fuck sickos. King Cobra. JFS. All right. I uh, will put a pin in it there. This is, uh, that's like the breakdown. That's the introduction to King Cobra, split into two streams. Um, he's an interesting individual. I don't know where things are going to go with this guy. Um, if you want to see more of him, let me know. It didn't seem like this is very popular with the people. There's like way more popular people who cover him. Um, so that's probably like their own niche. I still think he's. Is interesting. We'll see how far I can go with him. I had to cut darker fuck because no one gave a fuck about him. Uh, and he doesn't give enough content out per day, but this guy definitely does. Um, so yeah, tomorrow we'll do Daisy. We'll do Daisy's Thursday now. I don't know what's going on with her. I'll have to tear. Um, and then yeah, that's that that's it. Uh Heather on Friday. Heather has been doing her regular Heather stuff slowly slipping back into uh insanity but i think that was inevitable i hope you guys have a great night and i will see you tomorrow if you're gonna check out daisy see ya